access to the MBS IMP interface for patient management and report generation is provided. Designed by Speech Pathologist for Speech Pathologist, this extension of the MBS IMP is meant to be clinically useful and practical. It allows the registered clinician to efficiently enter patient medical histories, MBS IMP study scores, patient management data, and other related information in a HIPAA compliant manner. Once entered, the clinician can quickly produce clinical documentation of each MBS IMP study, track the status of patients over time, evaluate the success of patient management and treatment strategies, and optimize patient care through practices consistent with evidence-based medicine. Entering the patient data and report section, clinicians will see a link to access the forums, jump to technical and component score help files, query patients, add new patients, and search existing patients. All patients that have already been added to the facility database can be viewed from this screen. If a clinician chooses to view only those studies that he or she has entered, they can do so by clicking here. Before entering an MBS IMP study, a patient must be added and the medical history entered. This can be done one of several ways. For patients who are new to the database, clinicians should select Add a new patient and then generate a new ID for the patient. For patients who have previous studies entered into the MBS IMP database, clinicians can enter the known patient ID through the Search Existing Patients link. This will bring up the patient's previously entered medical history and links to any existing studies. From here, the medical history can be edited and updated. Point and click completion for 98% of all fields make data entry efficient and quick. Entry of information is de-identified and complies with HIPAA guidelines. The length and detail of each report can be controlled by the selection of the data entered. As many or as few of the available entry fields can be completed. Diagnoses and conditions are organized according to body system and classified when entered by chronology of episode. Selection of certain diagnoses, such as head and neck cancer, elicits subscreens of additional information, including surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy as applicable. If a diagnosis is not listed, you may use the free text option to enter the diagnosis into the medical history. After input of this base medical history, sections follow for present and past surgical history, medical treatments, medications, vitamins and supplements, alternative therapies, allergies, and social history. Speech pathology diagnosis and category of diagnosis related to swallowing impairment complete the patient history screen. When you've entered all data into the medical history section, you may save the form, save the form and enter a new study, save the form and edit an old study, or return to the list of patients. The entry screens for each MBS IMP study provide input fields for Joint Commission mandated data such as pain assessment, procedural timeout, and barriers to learning. Fields are also included for patient status, patient height and weight, which will automatically calculate BMI, previous or current treatment, if applicable, information related to airway status, pre-study route and nature of nutritional intake, the functional oral intake scale, any additional notes in free text format, patient self-perception rating forms, including the MDATI, DHI, and EAT-10. These will automatically calculate scores entered. If you would like to compare previous scores in your final report, you can do so by selecting initial or last reported scores here. Also included is information on patient positioning, contrast viscosities used, radiographic viewing planes, and fluoroscope settings. Upon completion of the study, the MBS IMP scores for each component can be entered. Entry 
of the overall impression scores for each component is relatively straightforward. If for some reason a component could not be adequately assessed, an alternate non-numeric selection is available. The penetration aspiration scale is also provided. Included in the assessment section of the final report is a table indicating up to five impaired components that significantly affected swallowing ability. When applicable, structural abnormalities can be reported. Post-study recommendations for intake status, diet grade and liquid consistency, post-study functional oral intake scale scores, and additional notes can be entered here. Delineation in successive strategies used and exercises that have been used over a course of therapy and seem to have been effective can be entered. Education provided and patient family response to education can be documented. Referrals to other disciplines and of course proposed plans of care can also be included. Summarize your findings and provide an overall assessment by free texting. Indicate a prognosis for improvement and list the patient's personal goals. Build specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely long and short-term goals by completing the MBS IMP goals section. Once the data is saved, the patient's medical history, self-perception rating forms, MBS IMP study findings, recommendations, and goals are placed in report format. Medical history is organized chronologically and displays current ICD coding. Self-perception rating forms are auto-calculated and reported in narrative form. If the system was asked to compare previous scores, these are displayed according to the selection made during data input. The overall impression narrative paragraph and score definitions table are auto-generated based on scores clicked, eliminating the need to manually type the results. Component score and scale nomenclature is provided so that those not familiar with MBS IMP scores can still interpret the report. If applicable, the score definitions table automatically includes component scores from the most recent MBS study entered into the database under the patient's MBS IMP ID. These are displayed adjacent to the current MBS IMP scores in dual score format to demonstrate progress or change over time. The penetration aspiration scale is included in narrative format and any structural abnormalities are displayed in a table. The assessment section includes the top five physiologic components that most significantly impacted swallow function in table format. Compensatory strategies and exercises and their impact on swallow function are listed, giving a clear indication for future therapeutic endeavors as they pertain to the plan of care. Intake recommendations, suggested referrals, and therapy recommendations are listed. Long and short-term goals are auto-generated in narrative format based on selections made during data entry. Until the report is finalized, users can return to and edit the study data and past medical history. When ready for distribution, the report can be sent to a printer, virtually printed as a PDF document, or downloaded for editing or archiving. Once the report is downloaded, it can be opened as a Word document and edited further. From here, the report can be copied and pasted into most electronic medical records. All data entered during report generation not only contributes to the integrity of the study report, but to future research as it is maintained in the MBS IMP database, which functions as a data registry dedicated to the study of swallowing impairment. This brings us to the query function of the MBS IMP website. 